Welcome back to this epic portion of Sword AF Season 2. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! When we last left our heroes, they made it to Bug's hometown, got a little bit of much needed vengeance from childhood, opened up a statue made of Bug, and specifically Bug's butt, and found the hideout of True Neutral. Our heroes busted on in, blew up a bunch of Fern Z enemy units, and then motorcycled their way down to this big old round room. Waiting for that rather hot on their tail, coming through the door that Fernie just blasted open with his body on a motorcycle, is none other than the leader of the mercenary group you started working out for, Krungdar. Ugh. Krungdar! The guy in the helmet! <laughs> My helmet fell off. Oh, roll for initiative. Oh, All right. God, this guy. Ooh. He's gonna take us on by himself? Literally. 11. Well, he, well, he had four robots, but. 11. Let's see, uh, okay. 10, 19. Three. Oh, oh, sorry, 22 actually. All right, so uh, Krungdar pulls out both his axes and is like, well, I would have loved to have some help for the fight, but you guys did some tricky motorcycle maneuvers for people who have probably never seen this crap. Krungdar, why are you even here, dude? Well, I got uh, offered a position uh, here at their company. I considered it, I held off. They offered me more, and I do love money. I and all I really want, oh, sorry. No, please, I actually, I, I I feel like I've taken a lot from you. I, I want to give you the floor. Well, yeah, you did. You took away Gunthar. Mm -hmm. And you made us want it. Right. And then we were just in Fay Court for no reason. Well, I didn't do that. Well, I feel like you did everything. You started it off where we were wanted when we are just good people trying to deliver a package. And now you're here. Right. At the CEO's headquarters. Okay, so I, I will take uh, accountability for some of that, thank you. I would like us both to look at ourselves in this situation. Uh, I will say what I wanted to do was restore a proper economy to this world. And look at how well this place is thriving. We got new technology, all these kind of robots. While gonna... he's talking, I go right up to Furnace and I go, you know how you view the CEO? Yeah. And we view this fucker like that. Yeah, do you yeah, remember I'd him say, at all? Uh, vaguely. So, let me get this straight. Yeah. Who's leading the mercenary group now? Oh, no, that's, they're replaced by robots. I replaced their jobs with robots. <gasps> Economy's back in a great way for me. Oh, <gasps> damn. It's true. AI is replacing everything. Everything. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> okay, so. Um, <laughs> Did they at least give you good benefits or? I get dental, uh, but it doesn't count for my fangs. Fucked. I've got the rest. <laughs> well, the teeth are, uh, I think, Okay. Koda, what are you doing? Blast his head off. Guys, so now we have to kill Krendar and the CEO. That's fine. You're willing <laughs> to die for true neutral? I'm willing to do my job and also leave if it suits me and I'll do pretty much anything for money. So am I willing to die? Maybe. We'll see, I guess. Not, I'm not really tied to it. I'm just sort of doing my job. Wait, why do you hate us so? Oh, I don't hate you at all. I just used you. I don't hate you. I have no malice against you. I'm being hired to do this. There's nothing what's, worse what's than What's your being official used. title? Oh, um, uh, well, let's see. Okay, so I was middle manager back at, you know, our old situation. Now I'm senior vice president of middle management services. That all, all right. sounds fake. That sounds really No, it's, a, it's an impressive title. You uh, used us. Right. Now we're gonna use your face uh -huh. to mop the fucking floor. <laughs> okay. Mic um, drop. See, it works there. Uh, furnace, okay. uh, furnace, roll inside for me real quick. Uh, you got it. Uh, that's a 19. Okay, so Furnace, uh, you know as a warrior yourself that even if you haven't really worked with this guy before, if he's a mercenary, he maybe isn't fully tied and committed to this job. Um, you could beat him like a warrior does, you could beat him like a mercenary does. Something that you know. Do we even have We could money? pay this guy off, probably. He's but dying. He'll always come back and get us. He's that dying here everywhere. and he's dying now. Look, I'm Where? of the opinion of if people do horrible, evil things to this world, they should probably go. Yeah. I agree. Uh, and he'll continue to probably do evil, horrible. Or you're going to continue to do evil, horrible things. I'll do what I'm paid for. Hope I get hired by a good person, but we'll see. Go, Coda. I cast True Strike. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, true Strike, and that gives you advantage on attacks. Yeah. Amazing. Um, anything else for your turn? And I'm going to just hit him with this rapier, which is one D8, but I got to see if I hit. Him. Oh, the blade of Booch. The blade of the Booch. New blade of Booch. Booch. The new blade of Booch. With plus extra to hit and radiant damage. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> uh, that's a 21 to hit. Okay, so that 
actually does hit, yes. Don't, I don't like the way you said actually. <laughs> That's an eight, and then plus four radiant damage. A d4, right? Set, uh, so eight plus three. That is 11 damage, incredible. Okay, so I close the distance between Krungdar, and I cast True Strike with my top hand, so I'm kind of in this Obi-Wan type of pose. Mm, um, nice. And then I just pierce him right in the middle of his fucking chest. Okay. Um, and then I think the radiant damage, it kind of pierces and then sparks of light kind of spark out. Love. Is he wearing metal? Um, so he does have some armor plate, but over it is this really nice finery. Like, the kind of thing that's like, okay, you just got money and you're not saving it. Like, you you spent way too much on this outfit, but now you're out of money. Is that kind of vibe? Same. Like, yeah. It does pierce uh, this, like, this metal armor aspect to it. Um, and it does that 11 damage to him. Um, now... Krungdar, being a uh, very strong veteran mercenary of this old uh, age of heroes, um, isn't quite what he used to be, but he's still really strong, a powerful beast, and he does something you've never seen him do before. He enters what is known as a rage. Uh, that is when a bar barbarian enters a yes. specific mode. Just goes, <laughs> um, and uh, you see uh, all these different like flames go around him. Um, and because he is a wild magic barbarian, I now get to see what happens when he enters this rage. I have to roll a 1d8. Bug looks at Coda and is like, if I had a nickel for every barbarian I saw go into rage. a fit of rage, right. I would be a rich man, <laughs> which I already am. Okay, so he rolled a three. With this, a uh, an intangible spirit, a little pixie. Uh, the little pixie floats over to um, directly behind you, Coda, between you and Dolores. Um, Krungdar then uses his first attack um, to swing his maul at you, this big giant warhammer, two-handed. Okay, come on. Um, You're gonna get hit. No, I'm not. Koda, does a 19 hit you? Nope. It Wait, does... meets it, beats it? Yeah. Silvery barbs. Silvery barbs, so I gotta reroll? Mm hmm Wow. Um, all righty, does Hell a, yeah. oh, 16 nope. hit. Okay, great. Um, so he's so pissed off, but he's blinded by this like uh, this light coming from his jewels, and he tries to swing, and his first uh, hit misses. So he uh, he misses so bad that he actually like stubs his toe a little bit and takes like two damage on uh, having done that. Um, but because it's down on the ground like that next to you, Coda, mm -hmm. he rears up for another swing, mm -hmm. and he rolls a uh, that is a fifteen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, um, now that his turn is done, the pixie that is between you and Dolores mm -hmm. um, explodes. Uh, you must make a dexterity saving nice. throw of 15 or take 1d6 of Plus damage. Plus three, because you're next to me. Okay, I got... I think I'm actually out of range, but... Oh. What am I making? Uh, DC 16 saving 22. Throw. 22, you're safe. Yep. I'm not. So Dolores, you're able to expertly dodge this pixie dust explosion, but Coda, you take a bunch of pixie dust in the face. Um, so it's a 1d6 force damage. Uh, three damage to you. Cool, um, next up, Dolores. Fuck yeah. Krandar, I trusted you. Mm. And then you screwed us over. Yeah. I hate being wrongfully accused. Right. I look at Furnace what? and I'm like, they used to have a fling. <gasps> no way. Yeah, it yeah. was one time and I was literally blackout, so I don't remember <laughs> any of it. All right, so let's see. Trust me, do not have wine and Ambien mixed. Okay, here we go. Uh, so Lauren got that shit. Keith did. Okay, um, shit, 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 shit. We'll just stop going to that apothecary. But I like it there. Yeah, but it's I meet a lot of fun singles and they have a nice jazz band. Um, okay, I am, I'm going to just Eldridge Blast right now. Uh, 24. Uh, 24 definitely hits, go Woo. for it. So 14, 18. 18, great. Ne I had to change my phone number because of you! <laughs> <laughs> you know the difference between you and me? What? I don't still think about you. <laughs> oh. Furnace. <laughs> well, uh. I still think about you because you ruined my family. Uh, yeah, it sounds like that's your privilege. Yes. Furnace can see that there's metal, like he can detect the metal in his armor. Yes. Uh, and he's going to, uh, he, he like hones in and his eyes glow red and like shoot laser beams 
out that that start to heat up his metal armor. Um, nice. So it's, it's heat metal. Nice. Um, I'm gonna cast it at the uh, the second level, uh, and that will start off at eight damage. Eight damage. Okay. Um, amazing. Um, let's see here. Um, we have bug. <gasps> All right. I'm gonna go up to them, and I'm gonna cast command. Okay. Okay. And I speak one word command to a creature I see within range. The target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or follow the command on its next turn. Well, he's a, it's a 16 uh, wisdom save. 14, damn! Okay, um, I commanded you to drop your keys and now I'm pissed that your keys didn't drop. <laughs> so I'm gonna cast, it's my bonus action, spiritual weapon. Nice. I'm gonna create a flaming, uh, you know me, ever since I met Furnace, I love working with fire. Hell yeah. <laughs> Watch me, bestie! So I'm gonna do my cosplay of Coda again, because yes, I'm still in Coda cosplay, and I'm going to get my- Still? Yes! Oh my god, you're right. No one's taking my clothes off. So and then, you look good. Yeah, I mean, thanks. And then I'm oh. going, so I'm going to um, cast as my bonus action, spiritual weapon, mm -hmm. and have, what was your sword's name? Snake's Talon. A mini version of Snake's Talon. You just told Bug that. You, you could have told them anything to not copy you, and you just let them do Snake's Talon. <laughs> so um, a perfect replica, um, completely indistinguishable from Snake's Talon, actually even a little bit cooler, um, starts floating Ooh. next to you. Wait. Um, uh, Bug, <laughs> roll initiative for Snake's Talon, too. You know what? No, we're just going to have it go right after you. You're going to always have control of it right after you. Okay, so cool. Now you get to take a little mini turn with floating Snake's Talon. I'm going to take that Snake's Talon, and mm -hmm. I'm going to attack you with it. Okay, so Snake Talon floats over to uh, to Krungdar. Um, roll to hit on, on. I look at Koda while it's about to attack, and I'm like, "This is like when you borrow your friend's clothes, and they look better on your friends than you." <laughs> and I feel like Snake Talon, when it passes me, is kind of like. <laughs> blade, of, blade of the Brooch, That's really? A 19. You're, you're using Blade of the Brooch? Mm. That's Two. 19. That is a 19. It uh, does hit. Roll that. for damage. And then uh, damage that's six. <laughs> okay, great. So okay, with extra. six that's damage from that sword, it actually ends up doing three damage. Get it, Koda. Okay, we're going with the blade of the brooch. We're just we're dancing around him. You have so. to move on from the snake talent too. I know. I see snake talent. I see. I see. Yeah, I'm just, moving on. I'm moving on. Okay, good. It was reliable. Yes. It was reliable and it was fun, but it wasn't right for me. That's right. I love that. Cool. Ugh. I get that in a big way. All right. Thank you. Next. So I'm going. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm going to make two sword attacks. And what I'm going to do is so I'm going to take it out and I'm going to kind of like do a little dance around him and kind of like Wee. swirl, swirl like a swirl move. Mm, swirl like a swirl move, do it. Back of his neck. Ooh. So this is rolling the head. What about going for his pocket? No, sorry. I'm not going for his pocket. <laughs> that's your, I'm not going for that's his your pocket. goal. Eight plus six, 14. Uh, it does not hit. It's fine. Ah! Uh, 19 plus six. That one does hit. What? Go ahead and roll yeah. for that damage. I hope you fed your horse. 11. 11. So he is actually going to take six damage. Now we are back to Krungdar. And Krungdar is taking a little bit of damage from y'all. And it says, well, you guys have grown a little bit since last I saw you. You know, last time I saw you, I, I didn't kill you because I would have felt kind of bad and you were better as a scapegoat. But now I see I was a little bit wrong to do that. So I'll say this, Dolores. Coda, yeah. Furnace, and all the rest. Oh, this is where wow. you die. Oh, he knows my name. Um, wow. I didn't even say your name, Bug. All right, so he walks on up to specifically uh, Bug because you've been eyeing his pockets and he doesn't like it. And he rears up with his hammer bigger than your flipping body. He's about to bring it down and on, on your head and he rolls. Who are you going toward? Uh, Bug. Uh, does a 20 hit, a dirty 20. Meets it, beats it. Dirty 20 hits, it's time for Krungdar to roll for damage. That is a 16 on you. You got it, dude. N not, don't even fucking worry. <laughs> okay. And so for the first time, uh, Krungdar has been able to uh, take a strike on you. As he continues on from this rage, another little pixie <laughs> makes its way over to Dolores. Come at me. With these pixies. And he whips his uh, mole right back up behind you, Coda. Tries to do another strike. Does a 
does a, um, what was that? 16. 16 plus, does a 26 hit? Yes. So he, boom, attacks you with this maul, bringing it down on your head. It is a 11 plus four, that is a 15 on you, Coda. And no it isn't, because I'm gonna silvery barbs it and move out of the way. Does a uh, nat 20 plus 10 hit. Yeah, it does. Um, it does, and we double the dice we roll. And that's so, what we want. So this one lands squally on your head. We got a two plus six, that's eight. Two, that's a 10. Plus three, 13 plus five, which is 18 plus four, which is 22 damage on you, Coda. Yeah, so I think I was uh, circling and I was moving around doing this thing for the back of his neck. Uh, and I did not hit him. Oh, I did hit him a little bit, mm -hmm. but I think I see uh, Snake's talent, and I'm like, will you just get, will you just get over it? Okay, just move on. Okay, <laughs> I'm allowed to have other swords. Okay, oh. it's not all about you. Oh. And then I think uh, while I'm distracted, and it just like whacks the side <gasps> of my fucking face, and I just <sighs> completely fall out of Blade Song. You haven't let it go. No, I haven't. How can I? I know it's hard. I'm with like basically a one night stand right now, so I get it. Look, I will slip you my number after this if we are both Absolutely alive. Absolutely not. Hey, I do not want your shut number. Shut up. You don't have to take it. I'm just it's gonna be there. Use it if you want. Text. I don't care. I'll put it um, in the furnace. Ah, no, this I, guy's gotta go. I'll burn it. Mm. So fiery anger burns out of Krungdar's eyes. And one more time, with advantage, he's rolling against Coda. Uh, does a 21 hit? Yes. Or uh, 22. So uh, 22, he is rearing down on you, Coda, and that is a 16 plus four. That is a 20 damage at you, Coda. Ooh, I'm down. You're down. Mm -hmm. Our first down of the season. Oh no. How do you attack three times? Two attacks per turn, <gasps> and then Great Weapon Master, just because he crit. Mm. Okay, okay, we got this. Uh, Krungdar rears back and wails down onto you. And as all of you see this incredible moment of three attacks at once against two of your really strong and like physically powerful comrades, you realize this is someone from the old age of heroes. Old though he may be and not in his prime, this is still nothing to laugh at. So uh, Dolores, go ahead and uh, roll a dexterity save of, I believe it was 16, because um, the pixie <laughs> explodes next to you. Dolores' blood is fucking boiling. She is so angry right now. Uh, 11. 11, so you do take 1d6 of damage, which takes the form of uh, two damage. Two damage at you, Dolores. She's so mad that she starts to tear up and then she just kind of loses it a little bit. You know when you yell at someone you're, mm -hmm. that you're trying to protect and then you just fucking cry? That's actually perfect because Dolores, it is your turn. And just as a reminder, you do get advantage against Krungdar now because he made that extra relentless attack. Okay. I cast Vicious Mockery on you. Okay. You are gonna be alone for the rest of your life. Oh, nat one, because uh, you had advantage. So Krungdar uh, already knew that this was true but there was a part of him that held on to a little bit of hope that this wasn't the case. But you, embarrassingly, his most recent one night stand, as long ago as that was. That was 20 years ago. It was 20 years ago, and that was his <laughs> most recent one night stand. This is the biggest shame for him. Please roll damage. Woo! Three and four. So seven, seven damage to Krongdar, um, and also, you can see he's crying a little bit. And it has nothing to do with the rage as a barbarian. It's just like... I'm a powerful woman, even, I understand. Even the furnace is like, God damn. Like, he's in the middle of like <laughs> laser beaming him and he's like, damn, Jesus Christ. You know what? <laughs> I break hearts. <laughs> can I also do my bonus action of Bardic Inspiration so don't forget? Please. Uh, my Bardic Inspiration, it probably won't be useful to give to Coda. Uh, yeah, you can give it to Bug. Saves. I already have I already I'm gonna have give some. it to Bug, yeah. Bardic nice. inspiration to Bug. Nice. Bug, you've got this. Thank you. That brings us up to Furnace. So Furnace is still back there, but he's still laser beaming him, heating up his armor. And as he's laser beaming, he like full on Terminator mode, takes out his machine gun and starts like shooting him while laser beaming him. Oh my God. Uh, so he's gonna try to hit him with that, that uh, with that rifle. Um, I'm gonna roll here and that's a, Wow, uh, that's a 12. Um, but you do get advantage because I did that reckless oh, swing before. great. Here, I'll roll again with physical dice. Let's give it a shot. Uh, okay, that that hits. That's well, a yeah. 23. 23, so oh, that one does nice. hit. 
Oh, that, uh, yeah, that works. And so that <laughs> does, let's see here, that's nine. I'm gonna go ahead and add this. Bardic Inspiration, he's just really. I, I don't think you can do, oh. wait, you can do that. I you have Yes, let's go. Yes. The magical version of Dolores. Oh, great. Yes. This is awesome. I've never so, actually seen so this. So he's, he's thinking about Dolores' song as he's, as he's shooting. <laughs> so he's just he's like, yeah! <laughs> he's freaking out. Uh, so does that, but he's still heating up the metal, so that's also still uh, heat metal going. Uh, that's going to be a, ooh, that's 15 damage that his heated up 15 armor does. 15 damage? Woo! Oh wait, uh, is the, sorry, is the bullets, that's piercing damage, right? That's piercing damage. Okay, so that is unfortunately instead going to do uh, five damage to him instead of 10. Okay. Um, but, uh, the what did the what did the heat metal do on his armor? Uh, that was 15. 15, that one is just a straight up 15. Good Lord, and up next, we have Bug. Okay, I'm gonna cast Spare the Dying on Coda. Coda is still at zero hit points, but no longer in death saves. So there's no, uh, he's not dying right now. You got him stable. Yeah, so after just touching him. Out. Yeah, I just touched him. And then I kissed my hand. Ew, whoa. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my God. And then, hell? And then um, <laughs> I hope this doesn't spawn a Coda on Coda fanfic. Then with oh, my- Oh yeah, you're dressed as Coda. Before my snake's talon goes, um, when I am within a mile of bed, my mm -hmm. uh, my uh, warhorse, um, we can share thoughts. So I'm nice. going to um, I am going to tell him to charge. I in my head I go, bed. I want you to go twenty feet straight toward this fucking creature and with your hooves attack. DC 14 strength saving throw or be knocked prone. Okay, so if you're gonna have your war horse charge Krongdar, let's roll to see if it hits first. Yeah. So go ahead and roll your D20 and we'll add a six to it. Nice. Yeah. That's a 15. So plus six, 21. That's a five. Nice, so um, Krungdar gets hit with these hooves, and since he's still raging, they do half damage. Go ahead and roll uh, the to hit on your sword with a d20. That's a 19. Great. Great, roll that damage. Uh, that's a nine. Nine damage, incredible. Um, Krungdar is not looking great. Like, he's still standing up. He's not like on his last legs or anything, but like, y'all have really rocked him. And he, he's gonna say to you, uh, wow, you know, you guys are uh, a lot stronger than I thought. Um, you know, I thought I'd definitely take at least one of you down, maybe two, and then bounce out of here. Um, the fact that you're back up, you've got a small army, you keep making people do better with drums, and you're some kind of hell bot. Um, yeah. I'd yeah. like to offer you a deal. Uh, we de oh, we decline your deal. It. It's gonna be some job, and it's gonna make us like Uber drivers. Wait, no. What's the deal? If the deal involves you living, we're not. We don't want it. What's the deal? Listen, I know you all have quite a bit of money, and I have a little bit of influence over you right now. Remember those wanted posters? Yeah. So I make those go away, and remember that the centaur just jumped out of a teleportation portal himself because he was going crazy. This whole thing is put behind us. Maybe I even join your team. Just let me live and uh, sweeten the pot with some money, and uh, I think we can shake hands on it. Absolutely not. Well, talk it over as a team, you know. Hey, well. what do you guys think? We're gonna Should huddle we over here. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna huddle over here. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna huddle. We're gonna huddle. Look, I'm a little, uh, not versed in this whole realm. What do the wanted posters do? Honestly, at the end of the day, they bring us probably back to court, which we've already defeated. You know what? <laughs> That's true. The law court, means nothing. Court isn't really scary to no, any of us. No, court was not scary. That at wasn't all. scary at all. No, so but we can Krunder beat the shit out of whoever. Join our team. Isn't he responsible for tons of deaths? He yes. literally killed our friend. He killed our friend, who was a but half also horse. other deaths because he was trying to wreak havoc on the world in order to drive up demand for heroes. Also correct. correct. So he's kind of really awful. This yeah. guy just fucked Coda up so hard. I ain't saying yes. That is to true. He did he just says. kill you, just so it's only fair. Almost Definitely. killed him. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So? All right, uh, I'm gonna keep blasting. Cool. I'm gonna keep blasting as well. All right. I'm also going to keep blasting. And I'm gonna keep blasting. All right. Well, um, shoot. Okay. Um, then I guess uh, uh, still fighting. Then. That's, yep. That sucks. All right. So, but can, we, can we all agree killing is bad in general? Like we all do it a little bit. You, you know, killed right. how so can you make many us say people. that? People, you almost killed Coda. We're mid am... combat, you pussy. I know. I'm still full of rage. My I, eyes are I, flaming red. I'm just like time out. Pause. No, I enjoy killing. 
uh, I feel bad for killing innocent creatures, right. but I do enjoy killing um, bad like people like you. Okay, okay, got it, for sure. Um, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Um, I just do want to make it very clear to everybody here, like me taking a time out like this to talk, I want it above board, like, this is totally fine. If anyone needs a water break, if you want to go, like, patch what up What the fuck second, is happening right now? I just, look, I worked in HR for a long time. I'm good on team building. You guys may be my enemies. I want you to be hydrated. Can I thunder clap you super fast? It is not your turn. Fine. Is, is, this, is this some sort of kind of weird mind? I don't know I don't what's know. going on. I don't know. I haven't stopped firing my weapon this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Hear, hear me out. I just want to talk for a minute. Uh, and time in. So I guess I'm like a little bit awake now and I'm kind of drowsy and I'm kind of like, oh fuck, I got distracted. You never get distracted. What happened to you? And I'm like, that damn snake's talon. I gotta get rid of it, don't I? Been with it too long, haven't I? <laughs> mm. Cool, so uh, it is now Krungdar's turn and he's raging. Um, he's going to swing his maul at Dolores and that is a, does a 20 dirty hit. Yeah. All right, so Dolores is going to take 15 damage. Ugh. He's going to use- Ego, Bruce. <laughs> Fine. He's like, you know what? I knew there was a reason why we locked eyes in that bar. What do you say I join your team? Absolutely not. Okay. I have changed. Okay. Not any of you. Well, I haven't. I'm the same and also- Rageful um, man who is full of trickery. I know. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> okay. So uh, Krungdar, after that first hit on Dolores, looks at her and uh, remembers that night, but also feels this burning armor on his flesh. And though he's embarrassed to uh, not be in his beautiful outfit anymore, he realizes he has to use the second part of his action to whip off this metal outfit. Um, he takes it off, so he's no longer taking that damage, but he also no longer has the protection that he did before. He's actually much easier to hit. Um, so he's just like, eh, eh, eh. and he has uh, what would have been a dad bod in his prime and is now just like, you, you can tell there's strength there, but you're just like, buddy, like, buddy, <laughs> buddy. Okay, um, um, all right, it is now on to Dolores. Let's go. All right, I am going to Eldritch Blast your ass. Amazing. Um, go ahead and roll to hit. And it's 12. A 12, unfortunately, does not hit. Bug over here is like, we may be down, but we are not dead. Boom. Um, for my bonus action, I'm going to give Bardic Inspiration to Bug. Amazing. Um, Bug, you get that 1d8 uh, to help at any time. Great. Glorious. We have ourselves the furnace. Uh, furnace looks at Bug and he's like firing away. He's like, he's like you gonna take care of take care of that? Yeah, don't worry. All right, fine. Uh, and so he just keeps on blasting. He's gonna use his rifle again. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, damn, that's a uh, twelve. Twelve. Um, so that twelve does not hit Bug. Go ahead and uh, go for your turn. Great. I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds on Coda. Amazing. Um, in my second, in my first spell slot. Actually, no, in my second spell slot. I'll do yeah, it. Yeah, you can do it as um, high as you want. Yeah, let's do it high. Great. Um, a creature you touch regains a number of hit points equal to 1d8 plus your spell casting uh, ability modifier, which is six. Don't forget that you can use the magical inspiration so you can use it to restore hit points. I'm about on. to give you so much fucking hit. Thank you. Hell yeah. So remember, it's 1d8. Okay, which means I'm gonna roll 3d8. Nice. Great. Whoa. Plus six. Hell yeah. Jesus, 11 plus six. 11 plus six. Yes. Yeah. Nice. nice. So 17. 17, so now you have 17 hit points. And um, yeah, so I'm using that spiritual weapon. That's a five plus six, 11. Fuck me, 11 dude. to hit, uh, so that does not hit. Classic me. Okay, then I'm gonna get beds um, to steed <laughs> ahead towards you. Nice. That's 17, does that hit? Ooh, it definitely hits. That 23 total hits. Uh, beds is rushing right at Krungdar. Thank God. Do that damage. That's six damage. That's six damage, nice. All right, so uh, Krungdar, Takes a uh, half from those hoods, but like, uh, describe the pony like. Oh, two d six plus four, so ten. Oh, nice. You're I have not hit that? him once, but all of my tutors have. <laughs> hey, you're a That's leader just like me. You command people to do things. Same. I have people I manipulated. You got that blade and that po that war horse. Um, that means we are back to Coda. Yeah, we are back to me, aren't we? Who is up? 
Here's what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. Let's go to shock and grasp him now this time. Okay. He's wearing metal, so this yes. is with advantage. Uh, that's a 12 plus six, 18. That does hit. Okay, I'm gonna roll 2d8. Mm, okay, eight damage. Nice. Uh, now I'm gonna do it again. Woo! Uh, 11 plus six, is 17 hit? Definitely hits. Okay, 11. 11 damage, Damn. And then he can't take a reaction, so I'm gonna move back. I'm gonna use my movement. Nice. So you guys see Krungdar take this damage, and uh, he's not looking particularly hot. This is an old man who's seen a lot of battles, and his age is starting to wear on him. He's realizing that his time might be passed in a heroic sense. His time might also be passed as a like mortal sense. Um, that being said, his uh, upon taking damage like that, he's like, my wild magic surges. <laughs> And it's just the same pixie again. He's just like, God damn, all right. Like, <sighs> you know what? I acknowledge all of you. No. I really do. And I think you're all great. I can talk you up. I can get you jobs. Um, I'll make you feel good. What? You I, fucked us over, dude. Uh, you can make us feel good. Yeah, you I can make you feel good. I'm good at back rubs. Dolores knows. Dolores, how was the sex? We're not going there. We didn't. But the do back that. rubs, yeah. They he didn't. We didn't that. do that. We didn't. I, didn't. Oh, I didn't. didn't. We didn't. It, Even Furnace knows they didn't fuck. No, I did. I was just <laughs> no. realizing. It was very he clear. said he said that. He we made didn't. it seem like you guys but made it seem like you guys did that. No, he massaged my just, back for a very, very long time. And to oh, me, good that for counts. You. Sometimes you as, need those people in your life. And I really did. And I, um, yeah. And it felt really, really good. And I made a sound, and he was like, "Did you come?" And I said, "No." And you know. <laughs> And she said, and she said no. And she said no. This was before Prague. This was before Prague. And you found this yourself. Before Reno. Prague. You know what you deserve. You know what this you is before now. Prague and before Reno. And trust me. I guess me. no sex happened there. But look, I think sex stuff happened in Reno. Mm -hmm. Not between Fernie and Dolores, but Dolores. Oh, Dolores lots. all over the place. Really? I figured out how to finish, if you know what I no, mean. You, wow. we can, you guys cannot go to Reno. I was, if you I, walk I into Reno, it's yeah. ever everyone in that town is gonna look and be like, "Oh God!" They might close the doors. They'll know. They might. Some people might get might be excited. Hey, don't say anything all else. Right, sorry, right, right, sneaking right. away. Well, no, I'm not. Oh, hey, I think we've all no, learned a valuable lesson here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay, so, not gonna go away because he still wants to acknowledge us. <laughs> so realistically, I was planning on Krungdar sort of sneaking away while y'all were talking. Yeah. So, uh, Fernie, you get an attack of opportunity as as Krungdar was sneaking away. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, how many grenades do I have? Everybody gets two. Okay. Everybody has two. Um, I've already used one. He's gonna do. Uh, uh, he, he's gonna perfectly like run up behind him and slam his hands on the ground and do an earth tremor that if successful will knock uh, Krungdar prone. Ooh, okay, what's the uh, what's the save on that? Uh, the save is a dexterity of 14. That you got good. it. Um, so dex 14 save, let's see if this can work. He gets a plus two and that is 11, <sighs> 13. So he does not save on that. Uh, so, so it does one D6 of bludgeoning damage and it should knock him prone. Okay, so that's gonna do three to him. Boom, and it knocks him prone. So Krungdar uh, used about half of his movement speed to sneak away from y'all as stealthily as possible. And uh, the other half of his movement speed would have to be used to get up. So knocking him prone, he is stuck there. He doesn't get to do any actual movement or get back up. The only thing that does do is when you hit him, he does get to reroll his wild magic here. So uh, he's gonna swap out that pixie and go like, oh, thank God. Um, and it swaps to number one, which is shadowy tendrils lash around you. Each creature you see of your choice uh, within 30 feet um, must succeed on a constitution saving throw or take 1d12 of damage. And I also get 1d12 of hit points back when that hits. Um, but y'all get affected by Bug's aura. So that would be on, um, I believe, Dolores, Fernie, and Bug, uh, constitution save. Add three. Six. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's, well, 15. 15? You're okay. That's an at one plus three. Uh, 14. 14. Uh, you are okay. Uh, Bug, you do take uh, 1d12 of damage. Honestly, hit me. It'll feel better. Two. <laughs> two damage, and then Krungdar gets two health back, um, but he loses his rage because he did not do an actual attack this turn. Okay. So he's going to be back to being very vulnerable again here. Um, so he's on the ground just like, yeah. well, this is what it's like being old. I 
fallen and I can't get up. There's no life alert for you now. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> I wanted someone. Very Thank good. You. Yeah, you said the lines. Dolores, it is your turn. Krungar is on the ground and you get advantage against any attack you make against him because he is prone. All right, jitterbug. Let me look <laughs> this up here. Um, I think I'm just gonna stick with my cantrip so I don't waste anything. I love it. Nice. Right? Coda loves it. All right, I cast Infestation on you, and Ooh. as a woman with many, with uh, lots of women in her life, I got lice every summer, <laughs> okay? <Fuck>. And so <laughs> I am going to conjure up the nostalgic memories of lice and the constant uh. nix mm -mm. that was That's being awful. combed Shit's out of good. my hair, and I'm going to put them in my hair and then start to go, Run free, babies. Ugh. And I push them towards Oof. you, and they start to crawl up you and do little, little, little bites, and then they start to burrow in your skin and go up through your ew, face ew. into your hair and start eating all the hair follicles, and you just, skin just starts falling off your head mm. one by one even, by one. Even uh, Furnace, who's seen <laughs> untold horrors, is like, oh, oh my, oh my God, <laughs> what the fuck? You're welcome. <laughs> oh. Ah! <laughs> That's awful. Honestly, being a woman can be a nasty thing. <laughs> okay, roll for damage against Krungdar. Don't borrow your hairbrush with someone else. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. 2d6 is... Fucking two. Two. Um, okay, so uh, I'll tell you what. Krungdar takes uh, two damage from the actions of the bugs and uh, their physical like interactions with his face. But seeing Dolores do this uh, from her hair, um, a woman that he was once attracted to, uh, this does an extra 1d4 of psychic damage. To oh, Krungar. yeah, I had a lot of lice when we were hooking up. Does an extra four damage to Krung. How much did you guys hook up? The I d4 did more than you. flirted with him. Yeah. Once, he gave me a massage. I just say hook up. That's what we say. It, but I'm it wasn't hooking up. It and was that not was not hooking up. up. You did not hook up. With no, that. we did the massage. I know that that's completion. So when you gave me the massage, I had lice everywhere. That makes me want to kill him so it. much more. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already like kind of a dry goblin and you make me even drier when you talk about you guys <laughs> <Already> together. <laughs> a dry goblin. Fuck, that's... <laughs> the furnace is just like, God, that is, that is fucking mean. Wow, I'm feeling such a flurry of emotions. I don't know if I can handle this next ferny part. Uh, is this what it, this does? <laughs> Is uh, this what a this does? <laughs> is this what this does? Um, speaking of, uh, what is this doing? Uh, it's the furnace's turn. Uh, the furnace, uh, he takes out his gun again and just starts, just starts, keeps, he keeps going. <laughs> he just he, keeps on shooting. He's, he's observing everything. He is gonna step back pretty far, as far back as he can. Okay, okay. Uh, Cause this has a range of 80 feet. Uh -oh. So, uh, so he's just like, <laughs> he's just like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bug is like, oh. Um, just gets as far out of range uh, from from him as he can be, <laughs> so that he knows that he can't get hit. Okay. Um, and then he will uh, keep on firing. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, 16. Cool. Uh, and then the damage there is uh, nine. Nine. And now he doesn't have the breastplate on, so. And he's no longer raging, so he takes a, the full nine damage. Um, he's not looking yes. so hot. Krungar just gets shot a bunch, <laughs> a lot, like a lot. Um, all right, so like a lot. Um, he's just like, I want to be your friend. Um, I just want to fix the economy. Um, next up, we have, uh, I believe, Bug. Uh, how are you, is he alive? Yeah. Krungar is still alive, just not doing well I know, at I was just all. checking. Okay. I don't like that you're still hitting my friend, so I'm gonna cast Hold Person, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna choose you as my humanoid. The target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or be paralyzed. Yes. Amazing, I amazing. I just wanna stop you from moving and talking. Correct. Yeah, okay. Um, so, wisdom save, uh, that is a, let's see, um, plus, uh, 13 does not save. Whoa! Oh. Okay, great. I go up to uh, you, and Holds him, just fuck it. I uh, <laughs> I stick both of my fingers in your ears. Oh. <laughs> I paralyze you through my fingers into your ears. You hit like the pressure points inside <laughs> on his brain. Just... And I'm like, yeah. And all the lights are like, uh. oh my god. Yeah. Blue, you are crazy. Yeah. But Furnace says that from far away. He's like, Blue, you are insane. And I go, hey, have you ever seen someone get paralyzed through their ears before? No, no. I haven't. I've seen a lot of things. And I go, me 
either. Oh, <laughs> uh, then I walk away and I'm like, ew. And I spit on my hands ew. and I wipe them. Incredible. So not only is he uh, paralyzed and knocked prone, um, but he is very, very low on health. And so like he's just staring at the sky and you just see one single tear roll down. I don't think down. you can cry when you're paralyzed, but That's I'll let true. it go. That's true, it sucks back in uh, <laughs> gently across his face. Um, so uh, yeah, he's he's pretty close to being toast. Um, whoever gets to attack him next has a lot of advantage. Uh, would you like to send your army over? Uh, yeah, bet, go fuck him up. <laughs> Oh, that's a 17? That hits, okay. for sure. And then see if it crits, hits. though. You can roll again to see. Oh, okay. Special, special. Um, so because Krungdar is paralyzed, um, any attack that Beds makes uh, has advantage, so you just roll to hit, but it also is an automatic critical. So roll double the damage dice for Beds. Whoa! Okay, yes. so... Nice. 46 plus. 46? Because it was two, plus right? Plus six. Yeah, watch Bed... Be, watch be four, four damage. As I stick my fingers out, I forget that uh, Bed gets really violent when he smells earwax. <laughs> and I'm like, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho! I'm like, this is exactly why I suck my hands in this guy's fucking ears. <laughs> um, that is, of course, I roll low. 11 plus, um, 11 plus four, 15. Ooh, um, Krungdar ain't doing great at all. Yeah, um, Bed just goes, and sticks his head up and go, and no. just takes both of his hooves and smacks them on your fucking eyes. Wow. Okay, so Krungdar, uh, lying on the ground paralyzed, really, uh, this is the point where um, true pain is felt. You know, usually barbarians push through it with their rage, but he's not raging anymore. His armor is off. He is prone. He is paralyzed. You landed on his eyes, so you just hear, <laughs> from the ground. Um, like a scene out of office space. You're just wailing on him. Um, next up is your spiritual blade. Then I'm gonna take my blade and, um, okay, so I fucked with his throat, I fucked with his ears, I fucked with his <laughs> eyes. I take my blade and I- <laughs> Shove it up his- I literally was doing the exact same thing, okay. So I fucked up his ears, I fucked up his throat, I fucked up his eyes. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna, uh, my sword, I'm gonna have go straight for its balls. Oh. Skipping over the mouth. <laughs> Jesus okay. Christ. Go ahead and roll to hit with advantage. Great for the ball. You're a bad guy, okay? Let's remember. 17. Uh, 17 does hit, uh, which Ooh. is an auto critical. So roll double the dice and then add the thing. So, so it's I'm six plus 12. Oh, my oh God. altogether 12? Yeah. Krungdar. Um, Death by balls? Well. So yeah, your eyes are punched in, and now I'm looking at my snake's talent, and I'm like, make me look good in front of my friends. Um, you know what to do. Um, and yeah, that uh, sword goes, goes. Uh, it, it looks like it's going towards your eyes, and the little bits of your eyes that are kind of still open can see it going, and then it goes, psych! And it goes straight <laughs> to your balls. It hits the, the, the ball to the right, <laughs> punctures the ball oh, to the right. Oh shit. <laughs> And then the sword, it punctures it so hard, it falls and hits the ball to the left. <laughs> okay. With its handle or whatever. Furnace so uh, vomits <laughs> up some lava. He's, he's like, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, oh, And I'm like, oh, I'm like, I knew you were cheating on me. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's hard to see right in front of you for sure. Um, so Krungar <laughs> takes 12 damage and would be downed. However, he Are has you kidding? Go, 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 go. No, he's got this thing called relentless endurance as a barbarian. So uh, anything that reduces it to zero actually drops it to one instead. So nice. he is now literally hanging on by one HP. By one ball. Hanging on by the skin of his ball. <laughs> um, it hurts. And then it I go, hurts. where are the keys? Yeah. It's like, Look at me in the eyes. I know you can see me. I know you can hear me. I just stuck my hands in your ears. I didn't do anything to the eardrum. Where are the fucking uh, keys? <laughs> Fern's like has his, his crazy gun, he's just like, he's like, ah, just finish this off. <laughs> I'm bored, I need to go kill the CEO. That's true, we could finish him off and then get the keys. Give us the keys and we'll let you live. Nope. <laughs> uh, next up is Coda. Okay, so I'm on the other side of the room. Krungdar, take the keys out of your pocket, bitch. Uh, Krungdar is fully paralyzed. <laughs> oh, that's like, a good point. And on the ground. That's a good point. <laughs> I'm gonna say it one more time, <laughs> Krungdar. <laughs> take the keys. Out of your pocket. I go, I think Koda knows he's fully paralyzed. Yeah, I'm he's just still really being cruel. I'm still and he's like just left. really upset. No, you're not. He's coming from the depths. Oh, I'm being so mean. The depths <laughs> yeah, yeah. of hell. And I'm like, fine, you little, and then I'm gonna face step 
inside of him. Oh, and okay. <laughs> automatic action is since I'm a Ew. summer elf, I'm surrounded in fire. So I'm gonna appear inside of Krungdar and he's just gonna fucking explode out. <laughs> oh, okay. oh my it's three God. damage, no saving, yes. no nothing. So what I'm gonna say is um, ordinarily with face step, I think you have to see the location, but because Krungdar is so damaged with these cut up shirts and everything, you can see there's clearly balls. a bunch of wounds. So you see very perceptively inside to one of those wounds and face step like that. And just as quickly as he was alive, Krungdar is instantly killed. Yay! Are you in him? I'm covered in him. Talk Whoa. about exes, man. <laughs> <sighs> You know, I really thought I was the most messed up person, <laughs> but you three are really <laughs> fucked up. Oh my. Wow, thanks, Furnace. <laughs> yeah, no problem. All right, let's go. Coda, you, uh, oh, you my mouth. Dolores just <laughs> vomits a little bit, then she goes, excuse me, excuse me. I just pet beds and I go, there's nobody like you, buddy. There's nobody uh, like you. Pretty, pretty horse. Furnace, pretty horse. Furnace, <laughs> Furnace walks up and uh, searches the body. Okay, nice. so on Krungdar's body, um, you find a card that was very similar that uh, you used to uh, Coin Slot Bug's statue. Um, That's what I was looking for. Yeah, it's got Krungdar's employee certification on it. Underneath it, it says freelancer accents, access level A, parentheses, do not let into kitchen. Um, and uh, there's a little barcode on the back that looks like it can be scanned. Uh, exactly otherwise, in his pockets, uh, you found uh, two health potions that he was saving. He was paralyzed, so they each heal 1d4 plus 2 per potion. Um, Whew, yeah, cause... And, uh, I mean, all that's left is his body parts. So he had potions and keys. Oh, my God. Whoa. What is his problem? That was, well, <laughs> you know. I got pretty beat up. I guess we could take down our the sign on our fridge at home in the castle that says kill Krundar. Yeah, we can take that down. He's had a rough <laughs> past. It was, I yeah. said... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that ties up one loose end. Now there's just one left. Hey, guys! Yes? Hey, what? hey, guys! Dolores, are you okay? Hey, guys! I mean, I'm okay. It's just, I've been thinking about this ex yeah. for many, many years, yeah. and when he killed that guy, I was like, uh, anyways. Babe, take a healing potion or two. Chill out. Oh, we have, we have all these healing leftover. potions. Yes. Please Wait, don't I, cry. Please don't cry. I'm sorry, yeah, it's just, uh, <laughs> Please don't um, cry. Okay, we need a moment. Do we need a moment? Yes. Okay, uh, I'm uh, gonna make the tiny hut. I'm gonna cast okay, the tiny hut. Okay, because I am down bat. Uh, Furnace, what are the odds? Do you have any of those cigars from the Fey Realm? Uh, oh. I don't have, I don't have, uh, there, was, there was just one cigar, unfortunately. Damn it. That I remember. Okay. Um, ooh, I still have a bottle of wine from court. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Ah, and Dolores reaches in her dress somewhere and she's like, where the fuck is okay. it? Oh, here it is. The hut will be ready in 10 minutes. Dolores pops open the wine and has a put out your hands, because I don't have any glasses. Here you go, guys. We're just in the furnace. <laughs> my hands are covered in earwax. Oh, blood. Well, I guess over. we'll celebrate. <laughs> here you go. Stop pouring oh God. it. Oh Furnace, here you go. We're not it celebrating does seep it. into his system and stuff, so it, he, he... It burns Easy, like you can't put alcohol off. on fire like that. No, you can. It helps me burn hotter. That's <laughs> great. And I'll just go for the bottle. So being the bold and brash, brazen adventurers you are, you literally took a long rest in the middle of this compound that you broke into. That's insane. Shockingly, no one seems to be coming for you right now. It's either fear or confidence, but either way, you are completely safe. Um, as you exit the tent, um, you can't tell if it's morning or night in this compound, but you do feel very refreshed. And as you look across the room, you see only one exit um, from where you are standing in this circular room. Um, and it is completely opposite from where you came in, that hole that is blown in the wall. Um, upon inspection, you see that there is a, uh, actually a double door. It is an elevator. And this elevator looks like it's looking for a key card. Key card. Yeah, we have it. We have it. All right. Well, uh, uh, can I roll perception on the buttons and like what the floors look like? Um, yeah, so you know what? I think even with passive perception, if you're going up and looking at it, um, this is just a normal button to get into the elevator. Do you want to step in and look at? 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. So if everyone's stepping in, um, you see various floors. Um, a co- one of them says kitchen, um, that is is brightly colored red uh, because of the card that you've used as Krongdars. Um, one of the potential options says um, uh, stolen Fernie piece vault parentheses do not enter without clearance, and it's glowing green. Um, another one says CEO office, it is red. Um, another one says CEO core, it is red. And another one says restrooms, it is green. All right, everybody in here. It's our next move. Okay, bed, uh, duck. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, good, good, good girl. You guys, what's the mezzanine, do we think? We can't, no, we'll move for later. Hey! (laughs) The elevator starts to move. Um, uh, Let's see, I always forget, so. A mezzanine is up. A mezzanine is moving up. Um, So you go up. uh, It's clear. That other button said the core. This is a nice big apartment. <laughs> nice big apartment. I didn't know that was I an love option. This I didn't apartment. see that one there. This is a big compound, and they are rich. I want to see what's going on in this building. <laughs> that I'm sounds sorry. fun. Uh, the door opens, and you see a um, a man dressed as a clown, just eating piles of money, oh. crying. He's like, "Welcome to the mezzanine. Are you here for my services?" <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we are. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I want to see what he does. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> he just eats all the gold in front of him. He goes, if you have any more gold, I can do it again. Do you have any gold? <laughs> I mean, actually, yeah, I do have some gold. All right, give him some gold. I'm going to flick it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flick it in the air, and you have to catch it. I feel like the, I feel like all of our eyes are just like this, and we're just like, let's do it. <laughs> Keep it going, yeah, man. man. Hey, Cody, hey, get going. I fucking love this guy. Yeah, I fucking, actually, this guy's fucking cool, man. <laughs> Dolores, I no, fucking... Dolores, no. you, you had too much wine. <laughs> Dolores. Yeah. Furnace kind of parts them all, and he's like, he's like, hey, you look really sad. I am. You know, there's a town <laughs> nearby. You should go see. There's a clown that'll really cheer you up. His name is Pagliacci. Wait, hold on. Did you say Pagliacci? I did say Pagliacci. A robot. <laughs> That's an Italian name. And that's also me. That's what I was waiting yeah, I know. for. Sorry. Right. Uh, uh, <laughs> ah, 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 um, so, uh, Shane, actually, I'll roll history for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, that's an 11. So, looking at him, you understand that, uh, Doctor, this is Pagliacci. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's all I wanted. Yeah. That's all I wanted. Thank you for hearing of me. All right, let's get back in the elevator. This, yeah, is, this, has, been, this has been real weird. I feel really I'm gonna, I, before we leave, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put bug, uh, bug. I'm going to put bed in this room, and I'm going to go, listen, I don't want any harm to happen to you, and I want you to come save the day just in case I'm, I'm, I'm hanging on by a thread or me and my friends need anything. So I want you to stay in here, and you, I can talk to you when you're a mile away. And it, I can't be a mile up when we go to the CEO's that's right. office. <laughs> so... I'll communicate to you when I need you to come up and save our asses or grab us, okay? Yeah. You good with that, buddy? Are you good? Don't talk to bed like that. No, I'm not talking to bed like I'm talking to the clown. I'm talking to bed. Oh, well, I'm talking to the clown. Take care of bed. I'll take care of bed. I hope he likes eating a bunch of gold. Oh, just don't do anything. Just ignore him and rest. Okay. Dolores, you're doing that thing with your eye again. What? So I leave bed there. And I'm going to save him for later when I call him. Great. My eye wants to shut. Yeah. Is that bad? <laughs> Is that bad? All right, everyone in the elevator. Okay. 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 Oh, no. Not no. you, sorry. Goodbye. Goodbye. Unless you want to come fight the sea. I'm neutral about it. Nah, you stay in here. You're okay. lucky I'm not killing you. Yeah, probably. Oh, shit. I swore I would kill everyone in this whole compound, but you, but seem, you seem all right. You seem different. I envy the dead. All, all right. right. Um, so you're back in the elevator. Uh, not too many options left. What button are you hitting? Uh, the core room. The, uh, the stolen, yes. okay, the stolen Fernie part room. Okay, so um, the elevator doors open and you see mostly a blank vault. You know, there's a little bit of treasure in the corner here and there, but on the podium, um, there is a Fernie piece and it's unguarded. It's, it's clear to you that this room is the type of room that you can only access if you're given specific permission to do so, like with a key card. So maybe other security forces wouldn't be needed here. I inspect the treasure in the corner. 
Eight plus investigation plus fourteen. Just a little bit of just a little bit of treasure. Um, uh, just a little bit of gold, really. Um, there's one uh, mysterious potion bottle uh, that is purple, very long necked and fragile. Um, but you can take it if you like. I take it the gold and the potion. Great. Uh, so you get uh, nice. seventeen gold and a potion. Cool. Um, what else is in this room? It's really like a sterile, blank, neutral room. Like, when I tell you that there couldn't even be a hidden compartment for something to attack you from, like, it is a blank, white, square room, fluorescent lighting. No cameras? No cameras, and the ferny part. Part. Just sitting on a, is it floating? How is it? Uh, it's on a uh, podium. Can I uh, inspect the podium? You can. And under it? Yeah. And like, inside it? Yeah. 19. 19, so with a 19, you can tell that um, this podium appears to be fully made of stone. There aren't any um, mechanisms on it, no wires, uh, nothing, nothing under like it? the podium seems extremely normal, even under it, yeah. You're not even feeling anything like magic, evil, good, anything on there. There feels like some trickery going on though. They wouldn't just leave this up here. Can I um, roll for, I Detect mean. Detect magic. Yeah. Yeah, this room's gotta be full of magic. Can I do detect magic? Sure. So this ferny piece, you do see it uh, glowing brightly. Um, it's even more bright with your detect magic, but um, other than your magical friends in the room, the armor that they're wearing, the potions that they're carrying, um, you don't see anything off about the room itself, the podium, whatever. There's nothing guarding the podium? No. And this is the Fernie piece that he stole out of Fernie. This is the last piece of the core. So Fernie, um, your stomach, begins uh, rumbling. The other two in your body here start rumbling because they know they are close to their original source of energy. The vibration in your face also gets really strong right here. Well, I, I guess that's one of the things we came here for. Let's just pick it up and put it in your tummy. <sighs> Furnace? Yeah? You don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, I'm worried that I don't. we don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, that's not the, the core that was stolen out of no. your friend. That, that'll just, I don't know. But I, I, I guess it can't hurt, so. Well, I wanna say that Furnace, you've been great. And whatever happens, whether you're different after or you're still Furnace, we're still gonna love you. All right. I second that. But no matter what, even if I lose who I am as the furnace, you're still gonna kill the CEO, right? That was what I was gonna say. Guaranteed. All right. <laughs> no matter 100%. what, if for some reason we don't see you after this, I solemnly vow to bludgeon that man and make him say your name as his final words. Yeah. I love that. I don't want you to rest until True Neutral is completely dismantled. We that's will a, not that's rest. a different promise, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll also do that. Uh, sure. CEO and then True Neutral. Furnace like, fine. All right, and he grabs the, the core and he slams it in. Okay, so in this moment, um, obviously there is a, go ahead and roll a d20 for me, just flat. Uh, that is a four. So Furnace, in just that moment, you feel more chaos than you've ever felt in your life. Everything around you is sterile and white and fluorescently lit, but inside you is an ocean of screams. It's all the souls that the original furnace had taken before. This battery was powered by the souls of the dead. Furnace cutting down the forests, slaughtering Fey only made you more and more powerful. So you realize this is something that is entirely different than what was taken out of you previously. You only have this anger and this rage inside of you. But with a clear mind, the fire in your head billows ever higher the smoke even thicker. Fire goes from either shoulder. Spikes start forming around your body. You gain the ability to summon buzz saws from your hands. Hell yeah! You have become the Infernus Eternum, yeah. aka what? Fernie Model. Oh, what? oh my God! Shut the fuck up! Hell what? yeah! Representing nothing but pure destruction, the Infernus Eternum Ooh. walks the land again for the first time in hundreds of years. Knowing what you must do and looking Ooh. around at all the mechanisms around you, you have an innate understanding of this building and all technology inside of it. If you would like, the CEO's room is waiting for you. <gasps> Furnace? Furnace? 
Fernoble? <laughs> Fernie? Fernoble's good. Yes. I fully remember now. <sighs> and uh, yeah, as he speaks, it's now it's like more of like a uh, like like chainsaw voice. Like it's oh, it's but he's God. and he's super angry, but he's still the furnace, but he's like fully back. And as he looks around, uh, uh, like uh, he just sees uh, the corpses of, of like dead animals just staring at him and stuff. Oh my and he's God. just like, but they're all like looking towards a direction. He's just like he's like, <laughs> we're going to the CEO. <laughs> yeah. Woo! And that is where we will end today's oh. episode of Sword AF Season Two. Join us next week for the thrilling conclusion and the battle slash showdown against the CEO. Whoa! Oh my God! Let's ride. Yeah. He eats a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> no, we need it. We need it. I'm alive to my feelings. Oh. <laughs>